While most slumber in a deep sleep, the chirping insects of this late hour lulled me with their sirenesque serenade. So, here I am, at a park near Denny's, but before I show you the denizens of the dark that I discovered, here's what the park looks like basked in daylight. Not sure how well you can hear me with the roaring of cicadas, but you're probably asking yourself, what the heck are we even doing at a Denny's? And to answer that question, I'm going to pan the camera slightly over there, zoom into the forest, and that is your answer. I've been told from a friend who's uh, also into beetle hunting that this little foresty park right next to Denny's appears to be a pretty good spot to find some Kabutoma sheep. So I ventured out here today in the miserably hot weather to hopefully find some insects. Whether we find some or not, uh, who knows? But let's try our best. At the very least, we will see cicadas. Diligent ants. Always love seeing ants go to work. Oh, there's a cicada. Oh, look at that beauty. Up and close. I feel like while I'm recording this, it's going to uh, fly at my camera or something. What a pretty insect. Just a classic June bug, but dang, what a pretty shade of green. Hope we find a live one. <laughs> Although I've seen them everywhere, they're very common around here. It's just the moment you start to, you know, purposefully look for something, it tends to evade you, you know? That's okay, we'll find something. I can't believe the dragonfly stayed, <laughs> landed long enough for me to actually focus on it. Man, it's pretty. a cup full of dead cicadas in here. What in the world? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Oh, no way. This is the moth that camouflages as a piece of wood. Oh, it's so cool. It's so pretty. Here, watch. It's, it's really acting apart. There we go. Hate to disturb it, but yeah, look at it go. Oh, I'm glad I caught that. All right, let's leave it alone for now. We bugged it enough. Beautiful. I'm showing my eardrums, so beautiful. I wasn't out here at the park for too long, but didn't find any beetles, and maybe I'll come back at a, at a better time, around dusk, and hopefully we'll find some insects then. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with finding that moss. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Perhaps a bit past dusk, but no matter, as there's plenty to look for. Of course, the biggest goal is to find rhinoceros beetles and stag beetles, but let's start things off with these beautiful flower beetles that were incredibly attracted to the lights. The park was so full of these longhorns and I even found a pair mating.
At some point, a pretty moth landed on me trying to shoo me away from bothering the bugs or perhaps beckoned by the light from my phone, but regardless, it was a nice visit. I also came across this praying mantis Utheka, but sadly, didn't find any mantises nearby. Okay, this is a Kimawari, and they are everywhere. So every time I see one on a tree, I am disappointed. I always get excited when I see a beetle that size on a tree, and upon closer inspection, it's just that. Still, a cool beetle though. I've only shown so many cockroaches, but it's really the tip of the iceberg of what I've seen at this park. Also, more kimawari. Even bigger gokiburi. <laughs> okay. They do not like the light. Look at them scatter like that. Okay, at this point, I've scoured most of the park, and I'm beginning to doubt whether we'll come across a rhino. Maybe I've fallen victim to the desire sensor. Ooh. Is that a lizard or a snake? <laughs> I'm going to back away. Unfortunately, I had to call it a night without finding the rhino or stag. The question now on my mind is, did my friend troll me or did I get unlucky? Of course, I find a red-hued female stag the next day when I'm not looking for it. It was literally chilling in front of my apartment. But regardless, I have another place of mine that's covered with trees that these beetles love and I hope to find some stag beetles to make some exciting videos. But until then, thanks for watching.